today's morning show are from American One Credit Union. CEO Martha Firstenau with Janelle Mayer. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. How are you guys? We're Great. Wonderful. So it's an exciting time to be with American One. Uh, talk about um, the CDFI award that you guys were granted. Well, it's it's quite it's we're really happy about it. It is uh, an achievement that we really was kind of unexpected. Obviously, we wrote for the award, but didn't expect to be the highest award grantee in the country for a credit union. Wow. So, yeah, so this is bringing a um, million dollars in grant funding to our uh, company and, and of course, to, the, to our community. So it's just allowing us to expand our services. When you, uh, you know, when you find out that you're awarded the largest grant, uh, it's, gotta, it's gotta be satisfying um, for yourself, your organization, and all your employees. It is. It is. It's, it, it, it tells us that we've been doing the work all along, yeah. mm -hmm. and I think that's why we were uh, rewarded um, so highly, is that we've been doing this work for, for years, and, um, and now we get to expand the, peop the number of people that we get to serve. So for people that don't know, what is, what is CDFI? I'm going to let Janelle <laughs> hop in here. Yes, we get to teach another acronym this morning. So <laughs> CDFI is an actual certification through the U.S. Department of the Treasury. Okay. So it stands for Community Development Financial Institution. Okay. And essentially, it was a mound of paperwork that we got to submit, um, and you attempt to prove that you're doing this work. And, you know, we've been doing this, like Martha said, for decades. So combination of our financial education, our give back to our communities, and then who we lend to throughout the county, specifically in which we have branches. So we are CDFI, Community Development Financial Institution, for our seven counties in which we have branch locations. That's, That's incredible. incredible. Yeah, so, so exciting. You've, uh, so you've got a million bucks <laughs> to, uh, to help underserved individuals. Who are underserved individuals in our community? Are they, are they folks that are very, very close to bettering their, their financial situation? Talk us through that. Yeah, so there's, you know, there's a scale, of course, but for this particular grant and the way that we've kind of chosen to define it to be able to define our success or not, is we're going to lend to folks who are at 80% or less of the median income okay. for the counties that would, whatever county that they are in. So there's a lot of times when people get, they want to do better, they're employed, they're doing, but they're just on the cusp where they need a little help yeah. or they've had a bump with their credit before, so then their interest <coughs> rates are just not what they really deserve. Yeah. So they need somebody at a credit union to take a chance where the rates are lower, they're not doing a buy here, pay here situation, and then they can better their scenario and it will really have a positive snowball effect from here. So not only are we attempting to help folks from the start, but then we have a program so that once they've been with us for a year, we'll take a look at it again because most likely their credit scores improved even further. Oh, nice. And then we can keep them as members, adjust their lending to get them again the rate that they qualify for even at that time. So we've really got some programs that stack well oh. to, to create financial wellness for the long run for these families. Yeah. And, what type of lending, what type of loans would fall under? Yeah, so we do auto parameter. lending primarily. That's kind of what we're known for. Yeah. Um, but credit card lending as well. You know, we life happens and you wished you had had that money in your savings account, but gosh darn it, you just didn't get it there yet. So then there's a credit card that you can afford to get you through those bumps or a personal loan. You know, maybe you had that one unexpected expense that you're just gonna need to do it. And then we can provide it in an affordable way. Talk about, uh, every time I talk to you, Janelle, uh, so many programs to help the community. Uh, Martha, talk about when, when you do help the community with these programs and, and really actually put the effort to better um, residents' financial situation, how that really can impact the community as a whole. Well, I think, you know, access to credit is is it, it can be a barrier for, for many people more than we even know. Mm -hmm. And if they're not walking through our doors, we really don't know. So uh, when you have programs like this, and, and we can talk, thanks, thank you for letting us talk about this morning so people understand that when you come to American One, you don't have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, you can come as you are, and uh, we have over you know, 20 uh, certified financial counselors on our team wow. that are ready to help people one-on-one. -on -one. And then with the lending programs, you know, we're, we're ready to serve. So what it does for the community is um, just make us all financially healthier. Um, they're gonna spend money in our community. Yeah. And, um, and we also find, you know, for, the, for, for our employees, for our team, 
you know, they come to American One because they want to work for a company that is more than a paycheck. They want to, yeah. they, they, they understand the purpose and um, we want to attract more people that want to work for a company that has a strong purpose and a clearly stated mission. And we're, we're, we are very clear, you mm -hmm. know, when they, when they come to, to talk to us about employment. So in my professional world, um, before we go house shopping, you have to get pre-approved. Mm -hmm. So before somebody goes car shopping, do they come see you to find out what, what they can afford or how does that process work? Well, it's a really good idea. We highly encourage it because the last thing you want to do is find a car and then discover that you can't afford the payment. Um, so uh, we, have, we, we encourage that very much, yeah. Well, and yeah. it gives people peace of mind. Mm -hmm. So sure. you, know, you put yourself in the shoes where you've had some bumps in your credit, you really are unsure, you know you have to replace your vehicle, but you don't want to have that conversation with whoever, with the financing. Yeah. So you come to American One, you know you've gotten a great rate, you've been treated well, and now you have confidence yes. when you're ready to go shopping. And that confidence is worth it's just priceless for people when they walk on a car lot or when they go shopping from a private sale just to know that I don't have to worry about saying yes to this vehicle and then getting a no at yeah. the lender. I've already gotten the yes at the lender, so I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, and if you haven't shopped for a car, you might want to you might want to look the prices into that. are high. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes. Do you guys have any of your sales coming up? I know you've partnered with local. Yes, um, this week. It we is this week. A, we do. We have a St. Patrick's sale this week um, with five local dealers, and this time we've got a few dealers in Jackson, and we have a few dealers in Adrian as well. Wow. So we love our friends in Lenawee County. Yeah. And so kind of broaden the uh, the um, impact and the ability to get financing with American One, and we're giving away a hundred dollars Polly's gift certificate. Awesome. So groceries going up too. So another oh, okay. hundred bucks would be helpful. Yeah, <laughs> and where is that at? So we have J and J Auto, we have Huff nice. Auto, we have Jackson Auto, and then in Adrian we have Pelham's, and we have Jerry Moore. Nice, fantastic. So we're uh, we're about a two year an anniversary out from the start of the pandemic, and I, I've always <laughs> asked asked folks, do, does it feel like yesterday? Does it feel like twenty years ago, Martha? Uh, I'm gonna go with twenty years. Yeah. Um, and because it because it feels different, it's, you know, there's no going back. No. Right. And um, I'm just all about looking for those silver linings, which I feel there are many. And the new way that we're going to work going forward is exciting to me, and yeah. the things that we learned. So um, I'm ready. I feel like with spring, and we're yeah. gonna we're just gonna start emerging. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's great seeing seeing people out, and you know we've seen the American One Events Center. Um, that's definitely getting plenty I of know. use. Your yeah. your your thoughts on, on seeing the community and really people from outside the community enjoying that space? Yeah. So, you know, it took a while to get to get the building built, and then of course we never had a grand opening because it was we were going to have it about this time two years ago, yeah. and so the soft opening was kind of. I don't know, it was a little odd. Yeah. But um, the response, all, all of a sudden we didn't need a grand opening because the thing yeah. is booked constantly. And yeah. so we're, 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 we are very proud of it. The board is very happy with the name recognition and uh, we're real happy with our partnership with the, with the county. Yeah. It's a stunning facility, and yeah. it really is synonymous with your brand of just, mm -hmm. you know, a high quality, beautiful product, great service all the way around. So I think that was a great partnership. So you guys not only Th um, survived the pandemic, but you seem to thrive as an organization. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it must be a great place to work because you guys didn't seem to have some of the shortfalls that, that some of the other people in the community had. Can you talk to us a little bit about your work environment? You know, one thing, one of the silver linings of, the, of COVID was that we immediately had to focus on our employees first. Mm -hmm. And we'd always, we always put our members first. And during that time, it was really important to create a safe working environment because we do have a lot of retail and and there's a lot of unknowns and so I think we've taken it to the, to the next level in terms of creating a place where people want to come to work we've increased our minimum wage we've increased our benefits tremendously and um, you know you get rewarded with with great people when you do those things wonderful it's a uh, yeah. It's exciting heading into spring and summer, and uh, I did notice that you have summer fun loans that are be coming up, and <laughs> I think I need a summer fun loan. I need, Perfect. I need I need we something fun to spend money on. <laughs> yes. Well, it's interesting. You know, many of the changes with the pandemic, many of us are focused on okay life is uncertain. 
we do want to take advantage. We don't be reckless, but we want to be in the moment. We want to be present. And so you've got folks buying RVs like crazy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, buying boats. You know, I'm thinking about a boat for the first time in my life. I'm thinking, Man, that, that water looks you pretty good. Maybe I'll get on it. I, yeah, and I'm going to drive. I'm yes. going to drive it. <laughs> So, you know, absolutely, American One does all of those types of lending as well. So we're known for our auto loans, but we do boats, we do RVs, nice. we do your ATVs, all your jet skis, all your really fun things to allow your personal life to be enriched. Yeah, you don't have to pay for it all, all at once. Get a loan. No, that's right? right. But get the right loan. Get the right loan. Yes. That's for sure. Great rates. Call I mean, American come one. on. It is the right time. Yeah. You know, the rates are still fantastic. What are so, your rates like? Let's like, go. If, you, if I'm a fairly strong... Yeah, so auto loans are starting at 1.99. Wow. I can't call you out on the boat rate right now. I'm sorry. I don't have that <laughs> one right off the top of my head. Driving record. <laughs> yeah. I have a perfect boat driving really? record. Really? I've been driving a boat since I was 10. Okay. How many times have you driven a boat? A couple. Like, Jennifer's going to teach me how to I will teach boat. you how. Perfect. <laughs> my husband doesn't even know how. That's hilarious. I am the captain. I'm sure you are. <laughs> do you have the hat? That's what I need to know. No, but I need one. You do. You do. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for coming in this morning. And congratulations on the CDFI uh, award. Very well deserved and Thank you. Great, going to be great for the community. Thank you. Martha Furstenau and Janelle Merritt from American One Credit Union. We'll be right back after this break.